Hi everyone, welcome to the Tutor Med channel where everything medicine is simplified. I am Dr. Kofi and in this episode of Tutor Med, we will see a mnemonic to help us remember the steps of disease outbreak investigation and management. This question is frequently asked in theory or during VIVA in public health or community health examinations and so this mnemonic may be of help to candidates. Kindly like and share this video and subscribe to our channel if you are new here. Alright friends, let's get down to business. And so let's first look at what a disease outbreak is. A disease outbreak is the occurrence of more cases of a disease than expected in a given area among a specific group of people over a particular period of time. For example, let's assume that per past health information data, the expected number of measles cases in Accra, the capital of Ghana, in the month of May should be say 10 cases. If more than 10 cases, say 20 cases of measles, are recorded in Accra in the month of May this year, then we say that there is a measles outbreak. And so as a public health student in the disease control unit, you've been called to investigate a suspected measles outbreak in Accra. What are the steps in the investigation and management of this measles outbreak? That is what we are going to discuss in this video. Now on this slide, let's look at the steps of disease outbreak investigation and management. Now, one of the early steps is to gather your team, gather the equipment you would need for the um, investigation and management. Now, the first step is to verify the diagnosis, then afterwards, you confirm that the number of cases exceeds the expected and so it's an outbreak. But for the sake of our mnemonic, we will make the first step to confirm the outbreak and the second step to verify the diagnosis. But actually in exam, please note that the first step is to verify the diagnosis and then confirm um, the outbreak. And so another way to look at this is to say, confirm the outbreak only after verifying and making a diagnosis. Then right after confirming the outbreak, the immediate Control measures have to be instituted to break the chain of transmission and to contain or limit the spread of the disease beyond the region. Then, the third step is to generate a case definition and use that definition to identify the cases of um, the disease outbreak. We will discuss case definition in detail later, but briefly, a case definition is a standard set of criteria used to determine if a person should be classified as having the disease under investigation or not. And so as an example for measles, let's say our case definition is any individual who has conjunctivitis, cough, coryza, with fever. And so once a patient satisfies this definition, he is identified as a suspected measles case. Then the fourth step is to get descriptive data and so descriptive data collection and analysis. Here we collect data on person, place and time. And so for person, we want to know who has the disease and so we are interested in the person characteristics like the name of the patient, the sex, the age, the ethnic group, etc. Then place, we want to know where they were when they were affected and in time when they were affected. Again, this part of descriptive data collection is interested in why and how these individuals were affected. Then the next step is to formulate your hypothesis. It means form a theory on how the outbreak happened and why those who were affected were affected. The sixth step is to get analytical studies to test whether your hypothesis drawn is true or not. And then you conduct special tests for more understanding of the outbreak 
if it is really necessary and so the special studies is not a core um step but if necessary we need to conduct special tests then we implement and evaluate the control measures we have implemented based on what we've gathered from the investigation then after you've implemented your control measures and have evaluated them you communicate your outbreak report or your investigative findings and so this is the summary of the steps now in the next slide or on the next slide let's look at the mnemonic which would help us to remember these steps very good and so before we look at our mnemonic friends kindly pause here and take some time to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that yet and so our mnemonic our mnemonic is cdc department has announced special implementation and control measures this is our mnemonic cdc department has announced special implementation and control measures remember that cdc stands for center for disease control and so the c stands for confirm the outbreak but please note that this is not the first step the d is diagnosis make a diagnosis and so like said earlier confirm the outbreak after you have made or verified the diagnosis of the disease you were called for then the third c in the cdc is to generate or form your case definition and use it to identify other cases of the disease under investigation then department stands for descriptive data collection and analysis then has stands for hypothesis formulation then announced in the mnemonic stands for analytical studies to test hypotheses has announced special special stands for special tests if necessary so the cdc department has announced special implementation that's the eighth word in the mnemonic implementation stands for implementation and evaluation of control measures then control measures stands for communicating your outbreak report or communicating your investigative findings and so folks this is the nine worded mnemonic i generated for the steps involved in the investigation and management of a disease outbreak i hope this mnemonic helps us to remember the steps in the disease investigation or um, outbreak investigation and management if we are asked in exam and so thank you for watching this episode of tutor med kindly do not forget to do the needful by liking and sharing our video and then subscribe to our channel if you have not done that yet see you in our next video and until then adios au revoir bye Thank you.